Namaste. Uh, welcome back to tutorial series on SuperPro Designer for Beginners. In this video, let us see how to develop the process flow diagram for the given problem statement and initialize the streams and operations. In the previous videos, we understood how to register pure component and stock mixture. In this video, uh, let us see how to develop a process flow sheet and initialize the streams as well as operations which are part of this aspirin production process. The complete problem statement is given uh, as a PDF document and for the same, uh, the link is available in the description box. You can download the document and print it for better uh, understanding. When you see this particular problem statement, we can understand uh, there is one batch reactor where the aspirin production is taking place and next uh, there is a plate and frame filtration unit where the separation of aspirin is taking place or purification of aspirin is taking place. So I go to unit procedure as I already told when I read the problem statement I understood that all the ingredients are fed into a batch reactor. Obviously the mode of operation is batch mode. The next one I will choose a batch vessel then in this I choose a reactor because it's a pure chemical reaction no biological entities are involved so I can go to reactor and select a reactor select a reactor I place it on the workspace uh, next required one is I need a plate and frame filtration unit so I go to filtration I go to plate and frame filter and I'll select a plate, plate and frame filtration unit so next one uh, once uh, the only two unit operations are required for even information so I am using the version 13 build to which is a trial version which I downloaded from intelligent website and in this particular trial version you can only add two operation that is the reason I have chosen this particular uh, case study which involves only two unit procedures. So once you add this particular uh, two unit procedures next very important thing is we need to add the inputs and outputs for both the unit procedures. So what are how many inputs are available? So we need to understand the problem statement better to know how many inputs are there, how many outputs are there. In case of a reactor, so the problem statement says that 100 liter of acetic anhydride is charged, 60 kg of salicylic acid is added and 2 liter of 85 percent phosphoric acid is added. So from this we can understand three charge streams are available. So we need to charge salicylic acid you charge salicylic acid and I charge acetic anhydride and also I charge phosphoric acid yes and further when you keep on reading uh, there is at one point you need to add uh, 25 liter of deionized water means there should be one more charge stream to add the deionized water so I select one more stream add deionized water so next one so whatever the output coming out of this particular reactor will be fed into this plate and frame filter and next so whatever you can notice uh, that there are a lot of outputs are there inputs are there. So if you get any doubt what are these outputs and what are these inputs I already told so just click on this particular equipment it highlights in a red color either you can press F1 or else you can right click and click on the help menu. So when you click this F1, you can notice this particular readme file opens, there it clearly shows what is the inputs and what is the output. You can notice by default whatever the white color uh, you see that is the feed, so the means you need to connect the reactor mixture, the output into this one. So you cannot connect to these streams, these are all wash streams, they are all optional streams. If you want to wash the cake, you need to use them, otherwise we need to uh, leave it them blank. You can notice here this particular white one again is a cake stream again it is a default connection you cannot choose this as a cake stream because it's a vent stream we'll see what is that vent later and we need to choose this as a cake stream and any of these streams can be chosen as a liquid output liquid output indicates that if you are not washing or if you are not using any washing stream obviously you can have only filtrate okay this reaction mixture consists of some solid and liquid solid is separated as a cake the obviously the liquid is separated as a filtrate stream so if you use a wash stream if you use any solution to wash your cake definitely you are going to have two liquid stream that need to be properly named and kept 
So if you have any doubts with respect to any of this uh, operation, what are these inputs and outputs, you can uh, press F1, select this equipment, press F1 or else you right click on this one. At the bottom, you can notice there is help. Once you click this help, automatically the readme file opens and you can understand better. In this case, this is directly the uh, default uh, input and next one by default output is this particular cake stream is available. I will select this as a cake and by default there is one uh, filtered stream. I will select it as filtered. Okay. So and also he is telling in the problem statement the cake is washed with 95% ethanol means obviously we need to add the wash stream for that purpose again I need to add one more wash stream I will select here add one wash stream here and also once you wash the cake obviously you are going to get the waste from that particular washing step washing step so uh, all the um, inputs and outputs we have chosen so we need to initialize it so we can understand here one more thing the whenever you see any of the process there will be outputs when you see any number of streams in the sense basically there are input streams are available basically you can notice s101 yes, 102 102 103 104 108 so all these are input streams you can notice 105 is an intermediate stream you no need to initiate the intermediate stream because the outcome or output of this particular unit procedure is this particular intermediate stream. So if there are no further unit procedures, obviously this is the output stream. So as further unit procedure is there, this become intermediate stream. And in case of your filtration unit, you can notice there are three output streams are available. One is for K, one is for filtrate and another one is for wash waste. So for better understanding, you can rename this particular stream. Just click on this. It highlights in red color. Right click and edit label. You can name it as acetic anhydride. Anhydride. So next one, you can rename this as salicylic acid. Salicylic acid. And you can rename this particular stream as 85% pass phosphoric acid and this one here I can add it as uh, deionized water deionized water click OK. So if you want you can rename this particular stream also called reaction reaction mixture reaction mixture you can just bring it down. reaction mixture and this is 95% uh, ethanol and this is uh, aspirin so once you the cake is nothing but the aspirin crystals aspirin and this is nothing but filtrate filtrate and this is nothing but waste solution waste solution so for better uh, understanding or later to avoid the confusions we have renamed all the streams so that is what basically we have set up the process flow diagram based on the problem statement and also we have added all the streams so next one as i already told it is a batch process we need to add the operations to the reactor when i right click on this you can notice that there are no default operations are available we need to add the operation so add or remove operation so we need to clearly read the problem statement to add the operations in a series you cannot add them in haphazard manner so we need to add them in a series one after the other so what is the first operation so we need to charge the reactants means how many charge we need for example here in this case three charge reactants are charged that is one is uh, acetic anhydride one for salicylic acid another for 85% uh, phosphoric acid you can notice here this particular one is add a charge at the end of the sequ operation sequence means charge one is there if you choose this one it will add after charge three if I choose this one so above it will add 
okay i don't want to add it above i can i you are also for example by mistake in between i have added one operation one operation i need to move this you can use this options here you just move this options here so in this evacuate option is not required or operation is not required i'll delete it so three charge streams are there you can also select this you can rename this to avoid confusion it is just charge one what is this charge one I, I to avoid that confusion i can rename this charge one i will rename it as charge charge acetic anhydride acetic anhydride click okay it is renamed now the next one i'll rename it as charge charge salicylic acid salicylic acid next one i'll rename here as charge 85 percent phosphoric acid 85 percent phosphoric acid click ok so i have added three char charge streams so once you charge it so it says that we need to add this reactant to some specific temperature so i need to heat it i need heat operation i will add heat operation once you eat the ingredients or reactants to some particular temperature we need to allow those reactants to undergo reaction so we need to add react operation under the react operation you can notice there is something called react equilibrium kinetic stoichiometry so we will look into it later in detail what are these options for this particular problem statement there is no kinetic information is available only stoichiometric equation is given and percentage uh, conversion is given so i'll go with stoichiometric react stoichiometric i will add it so once you the reaction is done and reaction is carried out for some specific time we need to cool the reaction mixture so we need cool operation once you cool it now they are told to add 25 liters of again deionized water so how do we do that we need to have a charge operation we will have one more charge operation and next one is once it is charged so we need to charge the deionized water we need to allow the reaction mixture so that aspirin get crystallizes means we need to hold that whole mixture for some particular time that is for some 30 minutes we need to hold it so there is an option called as hold operation i need to hold it once all these things are completed we need to transfer the complete reaction mixture to another operation that is nothing but filtration operation that we are going to use something called as transfer out operation you can notice uh, we can have almost one two three four five six seven eight nine operations are available so that is basically charge acetic acid charge salicylic acid charge phosphoric acid we have heated we have reacted the mixture we have cooled the mixture we have charged it we have hold it and we have transferred out the reaction mixture out of the reactor so then click ok so uh, we have added all the operations required for uh, the batch reactor next we go to filtration unit as i had told filtration is generally a continuous uh, 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 procedure you can notice by default you see the filter option is available so you need to add extra options because uh, in this case in the problem statement it says that we need to wash the cake obviously we need to add one more step here so we go to add or remove operation you can notice here there is wash cake operation is available uh, i need to add after filtration so you cannot add before filtration so obviously we need to add after filtration i'll select it you can notice the cake wash option is added here so two operations are sufficient click ok so i hope in this video you understood how to develop a process flow diagram for given uh, problem and how to add the stream based on the information and how to add the operations to the uh, batch process as well as a continuous uh, process or continuous procedures which we employed so in the next videos let us see how to initialize this particular stream and how to initialize the operations for simulating this aspirin production process thank you